Hello now. Uh, there were some people asking me on YouTube how I mount the beholder gimbal. That's this one from Team Rebel on the Blade 350QX. So that's that's pretty easy. What what I first tried is using these four holes for the beholder. Uh, in fact, they do fit these two holes, these two holes here, and you have to drill two holes here. But the point is, it's too far in front of the QX and so it's very nose heavy and it don't fly really well. So I decided to put the beholder a little back. You can see, see here an extra hole. I drilled this through and this one also through. This one I drilled with a very long drill through the whole QX to here that I can use a screwdriver like this and screw the beholder on. So this hole is not a really exact measurement just look that this you drill it here the same size the same measurement. What you use these are nylon standoffs I use this nylon standoff here in this hole put it in so you have a flat surface for the beholder to mount on. So that easy. Getting power for the for the brushless gimbal is also no problem. You have to open the whole QX, remove the whole shell. There is in the back of the controller board, I think. You, no, you won't see it here. On the back side, there are um, connection points for the 4 ESC. You can just solder to two of these connection points a small wire and on the landing gear like here is for the mag magnetometer on the other side you have a hole you can put power wire and if you want a connection to the gimbal port you don't need this gimbal port really cause the brushless gimbal controller from the beholder is working really really well so it's just optional yeah that's it that easy Two holes, a standoff to get a flat surface, and the beholder. If you really want, I can measure the dimension. I have here between the two holes four centimeter. That's all. Thanks, and bye.